I have an absolutely incredible fact here about the mainstream media that will destroy even your last shred of hope that they're remotely competent at their job. So according to a new analysis in the weeks following the announcement that we had the hottest year on record, it's kind of a big deal, quote, CNN spent nearly five times as much time airing fossil fuel industry advertisements than it did airing coverage of climate change and the recent records. The network spent 23.5 minutes on ads from the American Petroleum Institute compared to five minutes spent on news coverage of climate change. So, everybody should understand exactly what happened here. NASA and the NOAA announced that 2015 was the hottest year on record. And if you turned on CNN at the time when this news was breaking, you were more likely to see an ad for the fossil fuel industry than a news story on how fossil fuels are destroying the planet. And again, they did it for, uh, I think it was two separate week-long uh, time spans. So that's plenty of time after the announcement and then, you know, giving them time to report on it. Five minutes of coverage. Way more time on actual fossil fuel ads. You think there's a connection there? Now, don't get me wrong. It's not a smoke-filled back room. It's not, you know, twist my evil mustache kind of conspiracy. No. It's a conspiracy of incentives. And when you have uh, incentives converge, you don't need a formal conspiracy. It just works out the right way. So there's a reason why, for example, Don Lemon gets hired to be on CNN. There's a, re a reason why Wolf Blitzer and Anderson Cooper get hired to be on C CNN. Why? They were vetted. They were vetted how? They're vetted because they know that their job is to play the fake neutrality game. Now, they actually believe that that's objectivity. It's not. That's not objectivity. Objectivity is just keeping it real no matter where the conclusion leads. But they think neutrality is the way to go for journalism. Anderson Cooper recently said on Howard Stern's show, I don't vote. Howard's like, why the fuck don't you vote? That's crazy. He's like, well, I, you know, I don't want to be biased in one direction or another. I want to always call it 50-50. Well, that's just stupid. Then you're... It's fake neutrality. That's not actual neutrality, and it's certainly not objectivity. But they've conflated the two in their minds. They think neutrality is objectivity. So Don Lemon has the neutrality bias. Anderson Cooper has the neutrality bias. Wolf Blitzer has the neutrality bias. So these guys, they might see the headlines themselves of, oh my God, hottest year on record. But what do their minds go to when they read those headlines? Oh, we have to debate climate change. Not, hey, wait a second here. This is science, this is a fact, and this is bad for the planet. They think, oh, so a climate change story is in the news. Let's debate climate change, like they did on CNN recently. Let's have uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy versus Marsha Blackburn, a Republican congresswoman, where Blackburn says it's not real, Bill Nye the Science Guy says it's real, and you have a 50-50 setup, and everybody walks away going, hmm, it's one or the other. No, but it's not one or the other. We know what the fucking answer is, and you guys aren't doing your job actually being objective and saying, Republicans are wrong, Democrats are right, this is real, we gotta do something about it right now for the future of humanity. But no, you can't say that, because then you'll have a liberal bias. No, you will have a reality bias, which is indeed no bias at all. So that's where we're at right now with CNN. The most trusted name in news can't even tell you that we just had the hottest fucking year on record because they're too busy running ads for ExxonMobil and Chevron and the fossil fuel industry. Great job, guys! Gee, I wonder why new media is exploding and why people trust us much more than they trust you.